The seminar will be recorded by the host, number three. You may be waiting room by the host. You will be admitted to the meeting with muted sound and video turned off. During the seminar, you may turn on your video. You may mute it. You can share your program are allowed to do so. Make the managed participants at the minute to see the other participants. Open this encourage before and after the talk or lecture of the resource person. While talk is ongoing, questions the details in the chat box. The moderator will note the question. Number 10. During the brainstorming or conversation, live questions are encouraged. If you want to get the attention of the resource person or moderator, find the raise hands icon in the participants window. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to UNESCO Clubs and Pinas Forward Regional Webinar Meeting with the theme, Living Peace and the Role of UNESCO Clubs Amidst the Pandemic. To formally open this program, let us all rise for the national anthem to be followed by the invocation to be led by Ms. Violeta Talion, the board member of the NCDUCD Incorporated. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Tayang mag-iliw, ay masagsikahanan, alam ng puso sa hindi ko ay buhay. Upang pinilang tuyag ka ng mag-iting, sa manlulupin, di ka pasisigil sa nagagawa. Manapin, pakinggan mo po ang panawaga namin sa iyong banal. Magsisimula na ba, sir? Yes po, ma'am. Sir Ricky, magsisimula yes. na ba? Yes, you can start now. Okay. Panalangin tayo. Ama namin, pakinggan mo po ang panawaga namin sa iyong banal na pangalan. Basbasan mo po ang aming pagtitipon at kami kaluguran mo sa umagang ito. <clears throat> Pagyamanin mo po, Panginoon, at maging nakaayon sa iyong kalooban ang aming pagkikita-kita mula sa simula hanggang katapusan. Masalamin nawa namin ang layunin mong dakila sa aming buhay at maisagawa namin ngayon ang aming mga gawain na may kabutihan at pag-ibig sa aming kapwa. Kami po'y naninikluhod. Kami po'y naninikluhod sa iyong harapan na kami iyong patnubayan at aywaksi sa aming kaisipan. Ang, ang anumang masasamang kaisipan, inggit at pakikipag-alit sa aming mga kasama. Bigyan mo kami ng sapat na lakas at katalinungan upang maibahagi naman namin ang aming makakaya sa aming mga kasama sa pagtitipon na ito. Ilagay mo po sa
uh, may hihintay ng anumang kapalit, bagkos ay paspalad na magkaloob ng anumang tulong. Panalangin natin ito at ang lahat ng ito sa, mga, sa pangalan ng iyong bugtong, an, bugtong na anak na si Jesus. Amen. Pangalan ng Ama ng Anak. Thank you. Thank you po. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear the message from the National Commission for UNESCO. Let's, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Under Secretary Ernesto C. Abrolia, the officer in charge of UNESCO, Department of Foreign Affairs. Magandang hapon po sa lahat. Uh, to our dear UNESCO Club uh, Board of Trustees, sa Pinas Forward po, yung Prime Movers, at uh, ang Team Philippine National Commission for UNESCO, sina Ma'am Len, sina Rex, at iba pa. And all the UNESCO clubs in the NCR, good afternoon. And to our host, Mr. Ricky Aguilar, kamusta po sila? At uh, saka po si Sir Serafin. Uh, kamusta po kayo? Po. <laughs> While we live in uncertain times with political, economic, health, and security uncertainties, Napapanahon din po na magkasama-sama tayo upang harapin ang lo at paharapin po natin itong challenges na ng challenge po lalo na ng COVID-19. At uh, talaga po namang napakalawak at napakalalim nitong ating mga hinaharap. So in the spirit of oneness, nangungumusta po tayo. Kamusta po kayo riyan? Kamusta po ang mga club members natin sa buong NCR? Okay ba tayo? Your presence today clearly conveys that you will not let the pandemic dampen your spirit and stop you from responding to the call of the times. Being there for our neighbors globally and locally as we pursue and embrace ways to help alleviate the impact of COVID-19. Marami po ako nababasa at naririnig na napaka ano po napaka inspiring patungkol po sa mga ginagawa ng ating mga kabataan yung lalo-lalo na po yung nasali sa community service na narinig po natin yung mga nagbo-volunteer na mga young people uh, sabi nga nila volunteers are not paid hindi nababayaran hindi dahil sa wala silang saysay pero dahil lang sila ay walang kapalit walang they are priceless they their their services cannot be paid for in terms of money. Last week po, dun sa, sa, yung, sa lahat, yung huling gathering po last week, uh, sina Dr. Carlos Palma of Living Peace International. Sana maimbitahan uli po natin, Sir Serafin, ano? Uh, last week, sabi niya, to start the culture of peace, let us start with the culture of love. Despite the community quarantine, the volunteer youth groups are showing love. Papakita po talaga ng pagmamahal sa kanilang mga komunidad. Marami po ay nag-voluntaryo sa mga checkpoints. Ang iba naman ay nagre-repack at nagdi-distribute ng mga pagkain. And meron din naman na tulong sa kanilang mga komunidad by making informative videos. Diyan po magaling ang ating mga kabataan. There are more inspiring stories and later on, it's uh, ma 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 maririnig po natin iba pang mga pinagagawa natin mga uh, kasamahan, mga, ka kasama, mga kabataan ng mga UNESCO clubs dito po sa NCR at may, pa may mapapakinggan po natin ang kanilang mga kwento and I'm sure ma many of you, most of you, all of you are wanting to hear those stories of caring, giving, and loving. Uh, it is good to know that this Kabustahan webinar of the NB NCBUCP with Penis Forward recognizes the key role that the young people play in realizing the sustainable goals or SDGs. UNESCO has emphasized that cultural heritage, both intangible and tangible, and creativity are resources that need to be protected and carefully managed. Dito po sa NCR, meron po tayong mga uh, cultural icon San Agustin Church in Intramuros, which is one of the four Baroque churches in the Philippines. Uh, yung involvement po ng young people dito sa promotion, preservation, and conservation of our San Agustin Church, our Baroque churches, ay ito po ay uh, talagang napakalaga 
dahil lang sa kayo pong mga tumutulong dyan are going to be the part of the next leaders, uh, the next generation of leaders and decision makers. On behalf of the Philippine National Commission for UNESCO, thank you to our NCBUCP, the UNESCO clubs for making this possible. And I'm ready to listen to different projects of UNESCO clubs in the NCR. Our team from NATCOM is also here and we're glad to be part of this event. Hindi po mapipigilan ng pandemya ang hangarin natin na magkasama-sama at bumuo ng mga bagong pangarap habang hinaharap natin ang hamon ng panahon. We commend PINAS forward for its worthwhile initiatives of putting the youth at the core of nation building and meaningfully involving the UNESCO clubs. I encourage all of you to access our platforms to keep you informed, involved, and inspired. Marami pong salamat. Check out our links and our websites and then let us all help build a nation that is prosperous, a, a, a nation that's worthy of Filipinos, and Filipinos worthy of the nation. Thank you. Let's have a great meeting. God bless you. Thank you so much, Yusek Abelia. And now let's proceed to the statement of purpose and UNESCO Club Kumustahan to be given to us by Dr. Serafin A. Arbiola Jr., the chairman of the NCBUCP Incorporated. But before that, let's reminisce the moments that happened in our Y4U 2019. Let's watch this video. Good afternoon to everyone and welcome to our to our uh, third webinar already. Para sa kaalaman ng lahat, nagtatapos na natin ang webinar sa Bicol Region. Sumunod at uh, sumunod sa sumunod dito ay ang uh, ang Cebu or ang Visayas. Para uh, ano ang dahilan kung bakit tayo nagsasama-sama bilang mga UNESCO clubs at mga friends of UNESCO? dahil dahil sa ilang araw na tayong o ilang buwan na tayong ano naka lockdown uh, we thought of uh, we thought of this meeting for uh, to become a very very good opportunity for all of us to to get acquainted of what we are doing uh, gusto ko ring sabihin sa inyo na ito ay this meeting was hosted by, by is being hosted by Pinas Forward Last year, at ang NCBUCP ay nag-sign ng memorandum of agreement to train our youth leaders, our UNESCO club in different parts of the country. We started with the team building, Pinuno Camp, ito sa NCR, pero may mga ilang mga UNESCO club na nag, na nag ano, na mula sa Luzon ang sumali. Pagkatapos niya, naka-schedule may dapat pupunta sa, ano, sa, sa Cebu, sa Bicol, pero nagsimula na ang lockdown. Kaya hindi na rin natin na ituloy yung iba't iba pang mga team building na naka-schedule all over the country. Pero with, with this 
pandemic, nakita rin natin ang opportunity ng teknolohiya para hindi para magpatuloy tayo sa ating mga adbokasya sa adbokasya na maipagpatuloy ang mga ginagawa natin ngayon. Kaya I, would, I just would like to inform everyone kung sino-sino po ang nandito sa webinar na ito. Narinig niyo na po kanina si at si Yusek Ernesto Abelia, ang OIC ng ng UNACO na nagsalita at kasama niya kasama niya ang kanyang team sa UNESCO National Commission of the Philippines. Nandito po si Miss Len, nandito si Lakay, si Rex, si Freddy at si Miss Michelle na sasamahan tayo sa ating uh, sa ating mga question and answers, mga ating mga clarification to how to become a UNESCO club. Kasama rin po natin ngayon ang mga officers ng National Coordinating Body of UNESCO Clubs in the Philippines sa panguna ni ni Dan Soriano, ang ating presidente. Kanina nag nag ano nag nagbigay ng panalangin si Miss Violeta Talion, ang ating MC si Ricky Aguilar from Baler, nandito rin si uh, Ma'am Alice Pedrasio from De La Salle Araneta, Sir Norman Mirabel ng Taguig. Sino pa ba? Meron din tayong mga board member na, na hindi i taga Maynila nakasama nakasama natin andiyan si Miss Sherdy ng Cebu um, sino pa ba at may at marami pang iba si Ma'am Noemi si Ma'am Noemi Cabado ng uh, Cagayan Valley nandito rin si Ludy Borja ng Mindanao kasama rin natin ngayon ang ilan sa mga ang dalawang staff ng Pinas Forward si Sir June Hoson at si Jeff Sigumalian Ayon, I would like to turn over the microphone to see kung pwede mag ano magpakilala ang mga UNESCO club na nandito ngayon. Simulan natin sa UST UNESCO club. Anjan ba si June Bird? Yes. Yes sir, good afternoon po. Um, good afternoon everyone. I am June Bird, the Director General of UST UNESCO club. And kasama ko po ngayon ay ang aking mga co-officers for academic year 2019-2020. So thank you po for the opportunity that you've given us to join um, this uh, kamustahan webinar. Maraming salamat po. June Bert, meron ka mga officers na nandito sa webinar? Please. Yeah, po. Our Director for Community Development. We also have Gab Tabilog, um, our chairperson for culture. Um, Lemuel Blanco po, our uh, PRO. And Marian Kalika, our secretary po. Okay, maraming salamat. Our Thank UNESCO sir. club from the University of Santo Tomas. We move on to the UNESCO club of the Philippine Normal University. Nandito ba kayo, Brenda? Sam? Claire, please ano, introduce yourself. Please open the, the video and your microphone. <laughs> Wala sila Brenda? Walang PNU UNESCO Club? Good afternoon, sir. Okay, Claire, please introduce your group and also the officers here. Um, I am Claire Notorio and I am the um, secretary, the current secretary of the PN UNESCO, and um, nandito po kasama din po sa mga participants si, si Sam, our VP, Sam Humaway, Brenda Robles, our president din po, that um, she's currently uh, and si um, and si Mark Sebastian po. Uh, Mark Sebastian is our science and technology committee chairperson po. And si Regina Lyson po. Regina Lyson is our treasurer po. And, uh, okay, thank you very much. May I ask everyone to please mute your your microphone and also stop sharing. Only the host can share the video and the PowerPoint presentation. Sino pang mga UNESCO clubs na nandito? Nakita ko yung taga Arellano High School UNESCO Club o Aurolio High School UNESCO Club. Nandito ba? Yung taga Barangka Ilaya UNESCO Club. 
How old you high school? Can you please uh, introduce yourself? Good afternoon, everyone. I am Annie Lomsaludes, and I am from Manuel Araulio High School. And do you have other officers who are here in the webinar? Actually, po, wala pa po kasi wala pa po kami new election na nagagana. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Although this this webinar is only for SCR. UNESCO Club, may mga na-invita rin from Luzon na gusto nilang sumali din dito sa NCR. May we know if we have UNESCO Club from Bataan here? Please introduce. Yan po. Uh, Henmark Sumandal po from Bataan Peninsula State University. Uh, UNESCO, uh, Campus Student Government, UNESCO, ang Balanga Campus. Ang uh, advisor po namin is Sir Job. At kasama ko rin po dito na nasa Zoom ngayon. President, I see. Si President Van Harold, yung student regent po ng Bataan Peninsula State University. Uh, uh, Ayun pa lang po sa ngayon. Wala pa po yung iba. Okay. Thank you very much. Ginawa nitong dalawang UNESCO club dito. Na i-ano, i-chat po ninyo yung inyong club name at tatawagan po namin kayo. Let's call on Kim Patrick Caparal from IBIS SSG UNESCO Club. Magandang hapon po, sir. Uh, ako yung SSG advisor ng UNESCO club po ng Ilay Barangay Integrated School. Together with me is the outgoing president. Nico Hercales, Muni, uh, and the officers, Monique Alberto, Mary Lord Slim, Kirsten Saporna, uh, Joey, Ira Roman, Joffrey Kingwa, Drea Sadi, Sila 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 Chavez. Sila po yung mga kasama ko, Sir Serafim po. Sila Sila po. Okay, maraming salamat, Tim Patrick. We, we call on the, our UNESCO club from the University of the Philippines, Diliman Campus. KitKat, unmute your microphone. Please unmute Hello. your microphone, yes. Hello yes. po, good. Welcome. Good afternoon po. So I am KitKat Jose po, the Director General of UNESCO Club of UP Diliman. And uh, here with me are my officers, uh, the next line of officers. So we have Mike Aquino and um, Michael Ramos, Andy, Andy Attendido and um, sorry, and Carl Kalagan. There. Okay, thank you very much. We also have from the International School Manila, based in Agig City, Earth Savers for UNESCO. Can you please, um, can you please um, introduce yourself, okay. Joaquim? Hello, I'm Joaquim. Um, I'm a representative from the Earth Savers for UNESCO from the International School Manila. And I have uh, here, I also have my project, my fellow project heads, Aldrin Alhero and Jason Cruz. And Adam Zoe will be coming later. Thank you very much. Meron din po tayo sa Pangasinan. We have Inactus from Tarlac Agricultural University. Nandito ba ang mga taga Pangasinan? Um, Good afternoon, everyone. I am Ken Angela Javier, the president of CCNHS SHS UNESCO Club. And today, I also have one of my officers, Ira Pobre. Thank you, everyone. You're from Talashao, right, Ken? Uh, yes, sir. I am from Talashao, Pangasinan. Okay, thank you very much. How about from Enactus, Tarlac Agricultural University? Sir, <laughs> Yeah, so Jerome Duque. Yes, sir. Paano mag-share po? Welcome. Welcome, sir. Welcome muna mag-share. Just introduce yourself. Okay, I am Jerome Soriano, sir, from Tarlac Agricultural University. 
And joining with me are Robin Lim, uh, Reden Nidoy, uh, Avon, and Sila lang po. Thank you po. Okay, thank you very much. We also have from Baguio, Baguio City, the University of the Philippines, Namnama. Chapter. Yes po, hello po. I am Ian Kalika po from UP Namnama, Baguio Chapter. Um, um, susunod po mamaya yung, in, yung current president namin and I am the outgoing president of UP Namnama, Baguio. And then we have, thank you very much, we have from, from Cagayan Valley. Enrile Vocational High School, SSG UNESCO Club in Enrile, Cagayan. Hello, sir. Yeah. Oh, Nelson. Uh, I am Nelson. Nelson, please stop. I'm Nelson El Gapotan from Enrile Vocational High School, uh, SSG UNESCO Club. So I have with me my outgoing president, Angelo Lapai. Okay. Maraming maraming salamat sa lahat. Yung mga hindi pa po namin natawag, mag lang po kayo at tatawagin namin kayo along the way. With that, I'd like to turn off microphone to Mr. Ricky Aguilar. Thank you, Sir Finn. And now let's proceed and presentation updates to be given to us by Mr. Danilo J. Soriano Jr., the president of the NCBUCD Incorporated. Thank you so much, Sir Riki. Um, good afternoon po sa ating lahat, especially to our uh, UNESCO clubs family all over the country, uh, the officials of the UNACOM. And this afternoon, I would like to discuss to you all about the reaction accreditation and accreditation updates of the National Coordinating Body of UNESCO Clubs in the Philippines. Next slide. So formerly, um, we had uh, our name, NUCP, the National Association of uh, National Association of the UNESCO Clubs in the Philippines Incorporated, formerly known as NUCP. And just last year, we had our updated name called as NCBUCP. Incorporated, and as of 2018, we have the differences of accredited UNESCO clubs all over the country, specifically on the part of North Luzon. Next slide. We also have uh, um, different schools composed of junior high school, senior high school, um, higher education institution. We also have some community-based organizations, and at the same time, we also have LGU workers. Next. We also have from South Luzon, particularly on the part of Laguna and Batangas. Next. We also had our UNESCO clubs in the Bicol region. Uh, primarily, we also have from the Bicol University and other organizations in Pilar, Sorsogod. Next. Next area is the national capital region where there is the most number of accredited UNESCO clubs on the part of Luzon, primarily on the part of the higher education institutions or those college-based UNESCO organizations. Next po. Let's proceed with the Visayas part. We also have, outside Cebu, we also have different organizations like in Masbate. Yeah. And in terms of Metro Cebu, we have also um, different active organizations that we have there, especially on the part of CID, CNU, what else, USC. Next. And we also have our accredited organizations in Mindanao as of 2018. We have uh, Young Professional. We have also uh, uh, High School One. And we also have the uh, Western Mindanao State University. 
We also have an, an accredited UNESCO club outside the country, which is the UIPS UNESCO club. Thank you. Next. And we will share to you that uh, in terms of our reports and proceedings last uh, 2019 International Assembly of Youth for UNESCO, we have highlighted some of those important data that we have. Next. Uh, uh, among those 150 accredited UNESCO clubs in the country, we have awarded 60 UNESCO clubs in good standing. Those clubs that who have sub, uh, completely and successfully uh, submitted to us their annual report from the previous year. And during that International Assembly, we have also welcomed and recognized 12 newly accredited UNESCO clubs in the Philippines. Next. So some of those organizations that receive those um, certificates, their certificates rather in goods study. Next. <laughs> Next. Okay. So um, our UNESCO class who, uh, who are participating in this webinar, we would like to uh, inform everyone that on the part of the submission on the reaccreditation, we need the following um, information, such as your 2019 annual report. So, may mga organizations na po tayo from NCR na nakapag-submit ng kanilang annual report. So, we are reminding our UNESCO clubs, especially here in Luzon, to submit and comply with their 2019 annual report along with their reaccreditation fee. And at the same time, if you want to have some articles or publication to our um, official newsletter in the UNESCO clubs, you can also submit to us featuring your uh, different projects and activities conducted. And once you have submitted those uh, documents needed, then your um, organization be qualified to be awarded as a uh, club in terms of good studying. And what uh, is, is good in terms of the submission, it is now extended until August 31st of the current year. So supposedly, uh, sila sabit natin to every 30th day of January. However, due to those different activities that we had, and we also have this lockdown in terms of this pandemic, we have decided to move and extend the submission until August 31st. So sa mga organizations po natin na hindi pa nakakapag-submit ng kanilang annual report, you are given until August 31 to comply with the said accreditation. Next. And if ever po may mga kakilala po tayo, networks, linkages, friends na who are active in, in the pursuit of their different different projects and activities at the same time advocacies and be part of our UNESCO club family, they will undergo such accreditation procedures. And we would like to clarify that in terms of accreditation one, NCBUCP incorporated thus the initial screening of the papers or documents that we have received. And once it will, is okay now, it will be endorsed for approval. And the approval depends on the UNACOM po natin. So, hindi po NCBUCP yung nag accredit po mismo. It's already the UNACOM. We just do the endorsement part. Next. Now, in, if these organizations would like to be part of our UNESCO family and at the same time, um, as under the accreditation one, they must need to secure these eight important requirements. First, we have the accreditation form. Yung accreditation form po natin, we have the template uh, na ibibigay po natin sa ating mga aspiring UNESCO club na dapat po natin sundin. And we also have the letter of intent, a copy of your constitution and bylaws, the latest financial status of your organization. Next. Your club logo in terms of JPEG. So we also have the standard format uh, na sinusunod po natin sa mga UNESCO clubs kapag nagpropose po tayo ng logo. We can provide you with the details. Your accomplishment report via PowerPoint, we have also the template one that we can send it to you. Uh, endorsement letter coming from the third party from your organization and other pertinent documents po natin, such as certificates and other uh, important uh, documents that you need in your accreditation. And, and in terms of this accreditation one, 
Um, we have extended as well the uh, deadline for submission. There's no uh, specific date yet so far. So we still welcome um, different organizations who wishes to be part of the uh, accredited UNESCO clubs in the country. And once your uh, organization or your UNESCO club will automatically be members of NCBUCP, they're going to pay the membership fee of 1500 and they must submit their annual report before January 30 of the succeeding year. But for this year, this does not apply because of the pandemic times that we have. So we still open for that one in order to maintain the good standing in the association. And failure to do so may result to termination of such accreditation. Now, what if there are some organizations na hindi po tayo nakapag-submit ng ating annual report for the previous year due to some um, technical problems in terms of internal problems in your organization? Pwede pa po tayo mag-submit for that provided that you have also a document or letter indicating your reasons uh, why there is a failure on the part of the organization to submit or comply with their annual report. And you may contact us uh, NCBUCP through the following details. Uh, we have the email. We have also the updated uh, website. You may also ask some questions, message us directly through our Facebook page. You may also tweet us by our Twitter account and also our Instagram account. Muli po, magandang hapon po sa ating lahat and hoping for the best to our UNESCO clubs all over the country. Maraming salamat po. The president and now, to the Pinas Open House, to us by Mr. Jim Hoson, Head of Operations of Pinas Forward, and to be followed by Mr. Jeff Sengumalian, the Field Administrator of Pinas Forward. And good afternoon, everyone. Uh, kita kita ulit po tayo. Uh, nasasanay na po na every Friday, nagkikita kita tayo ng mga kapatid at kapatid. Familiar with UNESCO. Uh, this afternoon, uh, we would like to to first ng ating napakasipag at uh, very dedicated na undersecretary Ernesto Abella. Talagang uh, yung pamantayan o standard kapag uh, ikaw ay public servant. Ang ako sa sarili ko nakikita ko yung kagaya ni Jose kasi very sharp. Na yung mga tinalakay last week talagang na-mention pa uh, sobrang galing. And of course, yung mga kasama nating official sa NCBUCP, marami pong salamat sa patuloy na pag uh, suporta at uh, pagtangkilik sa partnership natin ng UNESCO at ng ng Pinas Forward. Ganun din yung mga student leaders natin na nakasama nating mag-journey when we started engaging Pinas Forward, yung mga naputikan diyan. At yung mga gusto pang maka-experience ng mga activities ng Pinas Forward, uh, we are really looking forward na makasama kayo. Huwag pag nag-normalize na pero, pero hindi tayo titigil na gawin ito kahit we are under the uh, global pandemic. So this afternoon, magsisimula siguro ako para i-update lang kayo muna sa mga progress ni Pinas Forward regarding sa number of webinars na nagawa na natin. Uh, this report is for those who have been with us in the past two meetings na nakasama na natin sa Bicol, nakasama natin sa Cebu, uh, 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 sa Kabuan ng Visayas, and right now we're doing this in NCR. Uh, gusto ko rin pasalamatan si Dr. Serafin na hindi nauubusan ng energy Hindi pa natatapos ang NCR, may plano na for the entire Luzon, for the entire Visayas, and for the entire Mindanao. So, you're very lucky guys. You have you have Dr. Serafin with you na hindi nawawala ang passion to serve. At uh, natutuwa kami na naging tama yung decision namin na makipag-partner sa inyo. So, uh, Ponce, can you share muna yung data natin regarding dun sa mga nagawa na nating webinar sa ibang mga partner schools natin. Ayan, while we're waiting. Oh, ito po ba, Sir Jun? Sige.
Yun. Uh, uh, yung reason po namin, kaya namin pinakita yung video na yan, uh, because of the very overwhelming uh, response na nakuha ni Pinas Forward sa iba't ibang mga partners natin, lalo na po doon sa mga partners natin na galing sa mga UNESCO chapters. Kagaya po kaninang umaga, we had a presentation sa Ilaya Barangka, Kela Sir Kim, and we are very happy to announce na hindi lang si Ilaya Barangka, kundi representatives from the division, yung mga uh, sa division ng DepEd sa Mandaluyong are present at gustong gusto nila makipag-partner. So it's an opportunity for us para mapalawak yung network ng UNESCO and at the same time mapalawak yung network natin for Pinas Forward and do nation building together. Uh, as of now, uh, yung digital bayanihan video po na pinakita ko sa inyo ay ginawa namin into a webinar. Uh, we call it Digital Citizenships and Citizenship Webinar Forum. And for us to understand more, uh, Ponce, can you share para dun sa mga new friends natin na kasama ngayon na makita lang nila yung overview, what is Pinas Forward at kung paano nila ma-engage ang Pinas Forward tulad ng ginawang engagement ng UNESCO. Kaya magkakasama tayo ngayong hapon. So for those who doesn't know the background yet of, of, of Pinas Forward, Pinas Forward is about transformational leadership. Uh, it talks about uh, being not just a typical leader, but a leader na very relevant kung ano ba yung kailangan ng changing times. Si UNESCO at saka si Pinas Forward, kaya hindi po tayo nahirapan na mag... Na, na, tawag, mag adjust sa situation because uh, from the beginning, when we started this partnership, talagang ang focus ng organizing natin, ang focus ng empowerment natin, ay nakatutok sa paggamit ng digital. Kung paano pa natin mas mapopropagate, ma-engage ang kabataan to do the advocacies na meron si UNESCO at swak na swak ito sa mga advocacies din na meron si Pinas Forward. Aside from that, the core of Pinas Forward Formation is about values. Uh, ulad ng nangyari ngayon sa pandemic, babalik at babalik tayo sa basic. Kaya yung pagiging new normal, actually yung gusto natin mas tawag doon, better normal. Ano ba yung mga na-realize natin na alimbawa yung mga may hilig sa sapatos dyan, hindi naman pala natin kailangan ng maraming shoes. I'm talking to myself actually. Hindi <laughs> pala natin kailangan ng maraming shoes kasi Sa mga Zoom meeting natin ngayon, nakagayak yung pang itaas pero mga naka-shorts lang yung pang ibaba, nakatap, nakatapak or nakatinelas. So, na-realize natin na ano ba talaga yung mga gusto nating i-prioritize sa buhay. Ito yung mga gustong ituro ni Pinas Forward. And aside from that, lahat ng learnings natin sa transformational leadership and values for me, we want to concretize that. Uh, sa community natin. At wag na muna tayong pumunta sa community. We start that uh, doing that change in our own houses, in our own homes. So, next slide, please. To give you the uh, definition of Pinas Forward, it is a social movement working together to fast track our shared dream of the more progressive Philippines through online and on-ground uh, engagement. And uh, next, uh, marami pong mga naniniwala sa advocacies natin, sa social movement natin. At uh, marami po tayong mga potential na additional partners dito. Uh, tulad po sa mga private companies, katulong natin sa Message Movement Media Incorporated or MVMI. Of course, kasama din natin si Globe and I am very happy to announce kasi po yung isang project natin, yung Bahay Ani. Ang nagiging bottleneck natin doon ay seats. We are very happy to announce that we are now in coordination with the Office of Department of Agriculture Secretary Dar. At immediately nung na-receive niya yung letter natin na we want to partner with them na sana makapag-provide sila ng seats doon sa mga areas natin para makapagbahay ani. Uh, immediately in approve yung letter tapos sinubmit niya ito doon sa, sa coordinate, uh, coordinator niya and now we are in the process kung paano i-channel yung mga seats sa mga areas natin. So aside from that, nakausap na din natin si 
uh, office ni Senator Joel Villanueva kasi he is under uh, now handling the, the Committee on Education para mas marami pang university, state universities ang maging partner natin sa sa bahay ani program natin and the office of senator Kiko Pangilinan for their project para sa agri tayo because of the line that we have in the department of agriculture so lumalaki po nang lumalaki and aside from that next slide please syempre kasama natin ang team ng UNESCO kayo po na isa sa mga gulugod or backbone ni Pinas Forward para ma-propagate ng mga activities natin. Kasama din po natin ang DepEd uh, from Bataan, DepEd Pampanga, DepEd uh, Bulacan. At uh, ngayon po, uh, tayo, tayo mismo ang i-introduce ng mga DepEd divisions sa DepEd National. So, na-excite ako at the same time, medyo natatakot kasi ang schedule po namin sa Sarapin ni Jeff ay ano, ano na, <laughs> medyo loaded na pero exciting. Kaya po, ang isang gusto naming itagdag sa partnership natin, sana sa UNESCO, ay makapag-train po kami ng mga speakers, ng mga facilitators, ng mga moderators para po pag nag-engage tayo sa mas marami pang mga schools, ay parehas po nating ma-introduce ang mga advocacies ni UNESCO at mga advocacies ni Pinas Forward. Sa, sa ngayon po, nakarealize kasi namin sa pandemic na ito, malaki man yung organisasyon natin pero tayo bilang tao ay tuldok lang. Lahat ng plano natin na wala, lahat ng projections natin hindi natuloy, may pera ka o wala, pagka ganito pala yung kondisyon, marirealize natin. And it will humble us sa kondisyon na ito na kailangan na natin talagang seryosohin ang nation building at ang community empowerment. So, next po, uh, syempre si St. Paul College kasama din natin sa St. Paul University ng Tugigaraw, partner po natin yan. VPSU, uh, uh, Ilaya Barangay, yung mga naunang schools natin, nakapartner natin. Si Pilska, makakapartner din po natin sa State University. At yung Alcocoa, Alay, uh, Association of local colleges and universities, around 40 schools po yun nationwide. Next. So, for the appreciation lang ng mga hindi pa, uh, ngayon pa lang narinig si Pinas Forward, we are very uh, active in social media. In fact, we have around 330,000 following in our page. At kung iti-check nyo po yung page na yun, merong variation of different activities na ginagawa namin. From the discussion of trending issues, uh, relaxation, may mga music, and of course yung mga ground activities na ginagawa ang Pinas Forward. Pinupo. Silip na tayo sa 109,243 students nationwide. Nakasagawa na tayo ng 258 camps sa Luzon, 85 sa Visayas, and 100 Pinuno camps in Mindanao. And some of you guys na naging active leaders ng Pinas Forward na galing sa UNESCO ay nagsimula dahil sa naging experience nila sa Pinuno Camp. Uh, Ponce, can you show them yung video natin about the Pinuno Camp engagement na ginawa natin sa PNU, sa home court ni Dr. Serapin? At uh, ito yung very uh, uh, memorable experience sa mga leaders natin kung bakit nagtuloy-tuloy sila. tulak sa akin na sumali o makilahok sa Pinuno Camp. Siguro kapag nag-explore pa ako sa buhay ko, mas magandang hanapin mo din yung sarili mo sa mga ibang tao. Kung iisipin mo yung naging teamwork ng buong team namin, nakakatuwa and ang saya kasi madami akong ibabaon pa uli na very relevant sa course ko and sa position ko sa school. Hindi pala 
ako rin isa sa lahat ng advocacy ako sa buhay, may sasandigan ako. Mas umiinting yung alab ng puso sa paglilingkod. We will instill first the values of being a Filipino. It's a process kasi sana malaki ang tinitulong ko kapag nito sa sarili ng Filipino. embrace diversity na hindi po barrier yung pagkakaiba ng mga universities and ng schools to build a family outside your biological family. Coming from different schools, nag emerge ng different ideologies to build a single aim and that's to reach out to the community and make a difference. I am Henmark Sumandal. I am Nicole Marcelino from St. Paul University, Philippines, and, and I, I will, will move, move Pinas forward. forward. Uh, bago ko pala makalimutan, ang kasama po natin na uh, head ng field administrator na makikipag-coordinate closely sa lahat po ng partners natin ng UNESCO, si Sir Jeff Segumalian, uh, batang PNU din yan at batang UNESCO. So, malapit sa puso namin talaga ang UNESCO dahil kami man ni Dr. Serafine ay matagal na. We, almost a decade na kaming magkaibigan at nag, uh, naging engaged sa ganitong mga klaseng community uh, empowerment activities. So, uh, yung mga active na leaders po natin na meron ngayon, actually, nagmukha silang mga bata, di ba? Enjoy na enjoy sila. Huwag uh, kayong malungkot dun sa hindi pa nakaka-experience kasi bawal pa yung face-to-face. -face. Ginawan din namin ng, ng, ng module yung mga webin yung webinar natin para sa tatak pinuno para as early as now during the time ng pandemic mapag-aralan niyo rin ito kung paano ba yung mga paano ba yung brand natin bilang mga pinuno uh, mahalaga yung discussions natin doon because it, it is about our rootedness as a Filipino next slide so for you to furtherly understand Si Pinas Forward ay mayroong tatlong uh, layers of activities na pwede nating engage yan once makapag-partner kayo. Sa Digital Citizenship Forums, we're giving 10 free webinars. So from PF Orientation to Filipino Brand of Leadership, meron din tayong Digital Citizenship uh, discussion so that you will know uh, the digital impact. Uh, digital awareness, kung paano nyo protectahan yung privacy nyo, yung data nyo sa social media. Tulad nung pinakita namin kanina, by the way, yung team po namin ang nag-produce ng video na yon, yung about uh, digital bayanihan, and even yung lupang hinirang po, uh, Pinas Forward team po yung nag-produce ng, ng mga videos na nakikita nyo so far. So sa tatak pinuno po, yun po yung diniscuss ko kanina, it's a grassroots uh, Filipino leadership formation. And of course, we have PF Connect na kung saan yung mga advocacies natin in order for us to concretize our resolve, kailangan nagmamanifest sa, sa grounds or sa community. Next slide, please. So sa Digital Citizenship Forums po, nag-conduct na tayo ng iba't ibang mga forums, hindi lang sa NCR. Uh, kundi sa buong Pilipinas. Isang mabilis lang, Kuya Ponce. Okay, sa Asian Institute, sa Pasay City. University of Makati, UMAC, sa Makati. Don Bosco Technical College, sa Mandaluyong. Sultan Kudarat, sa Takurong. Nakapag-forum na rin po tayo dyan. Holy Cross College, sa Pampanga. Yes, Kuya Jeff yan. College of Maasin, sa Southern Leyte. And of course, sa Paliparan, sa Cavite, nakapagsagawa uh, na rin tayo ng forum dyan. Yung tatak pinuno po, uh, pakita ko lang kung saan mga lugar na tayo nakapag-camp. Sa San Luis, Pampanga. Sa Pulilan. Both mga SK po yung mga participants natin sa community. Next. Sa Castilla, Sorsogon, SK Federation yung kinamp natin dyan. And sa New Lucena, Iloilo, mga SK din and other youth organizations yung mga kinamp natin. 
At sa Isulan Sultan Kudarat, after the forum, they participated in the hub. Next. Uh, these are the different activities. Ang makakapagpatunay niyan ay yung mga leaders natin na nandito ngayon from Bataan kasi afternoon sila Sir Job, tuloy-tuloy yung naging partnership namin before pa mag-COVID. Nakapag-facilitate na kami ng three camps sa Bataan and uh, we are also happy to announce guys na tuloy-tuloy at ia-adapt po ni Bataan Peninsula State University lahat ng programs ni Pinas forward mula sa lahat ng seminars sa kanyang anim na campus sa buong lalawigan ng Bataan. So, sa PF Connect, advocacy building through online and online uh, and uh, grounds activities. Sige. Ito yung binabanggit kong bahay ani kanina. We, we thought of it kasi mahirap pala nung first three months, three, first three weeks na na karoon ng lockdown, kahit may pera ka, hindi ka makabili, uh, hindi ka makalabas. Tapos karamihan sa atin nun, regardless ng status ko, umasa tayo sa sa ayuda, naging popular na term yung ayuda sa atin ng time ngayon. So yung relief goods coming from the government. Pero kahit na handa ang government talimbawa o kahit na nakapag-provide na sila, hindi kakayanin dahil lahat ng miyembro ng pamilya nasa bahay. Kaya naisip namin, ang pangunahing problema pala ng, na dapat nating gawa ng, ng solusyon ay food security. So we were able to conceptualize a project, it's called uh, Bahay Ani, na mag -e empower ng bawat household. Guys, we started this program last May 15 lang. And uh, right now, from 11 households na nagpa-participate sa Bahay Ani, uh, we have now 624 households nationwide na nagbabahay Ani. Yung mga bagong nadagdag po doon, sila Ma'am Alice. Ayun, nag gumamit na sila ng hashtag so lumalabas na po sa monitoring system natin yung mga bagong households na nagbabahay Ani. Ano ba yung Bahay Ani? Noong una, we started lang sa mga kitchen scrap yung mga gulay na pwede pang i-replant tulad ng 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 petsay bagyo ng ng buto ng sitaw, buto ng kamatis, buto ng sili, pwede silang itanim uh, para magkaroon ng sariling garden. At alam nyo ba na 15% ng gastos ng pamilya lalo sa pagkain ay pwedeng i-outsource kahit sa isang maliit na garden lang. Ibig sabihin yung mga panggisa-gisa, panahog, kapag ikaw ay magsisigang, kapag ikaw ay magnilaga, ay uh, maaari nating anihin sa bakura natin. Kaya siguro nabuo yung old Filipino saying na kapag may tsaga, may nilaga. Kasi ang pangunahing rekado doon, narinig ko lang kanina sa Ilaya Barangka, ay petsay. So kung matsaga kang magtanim ng gulay, hindi ka magugutom. So sa kabila ng kawalang katiyakan ng buhay natin ngayon, sa dami ng nawalan ng trabaho, sa dami ng mga uh, kumpanya na nagsara, sa dami ng mga dapat na gastusin, makakatipid tayo sa pamamagitan ng food security program ng Pinas Forward na Bahay Ani. At maaari pa itong maging source of livelihood kung malaki-laki yung bakura ninyo maaari siyang i-barter sa ibang produkto, maaaring ipagbili yung mga sobrang tanim niyong talong, sobrang aning petsay, sobrang aning sitaw, at nakakatiyak pa tayo na healthy yung kinakain ng pamilya natin dahil organic yung mga tanim natin. With that, sa social media page naman natin, nagbibigay tayo doon ng mga tips and tricks kung paano ba uh, makakasali or paano ba magkakaroon ng isang organic farming, uh, organic farm at ano yung mga procedures na pwede nating gawin para sa pagsisimula nito. Sa mga magtatanong, sir, wala po kaming space. Pwede rin tayong uh, magpalitan ng kaalaman about aquaponics. Pwede rin tayong magbigay ng palitan about our knowledge sa mga container gardening. At marami na pong gumagawa nito uh, from different walks of life na 
nakaka-partner ni Pinas Forward sa bahay ano. Next. Aside from that, meron din po tayong platform na pinatawag na Crush Tokan. Dito natin pinag-uusapan yung mga uh, trending issues like uh, paano nag-survive, paano nag-adjust ang pamilya ni Senator Sani Angara twice siyang nagka-COVID. So we interviewed Ms. Tutsi Angara. Si Sir Howie Severino, in-interview din natin kung paano siya yung mga naging uh, experience about uh, sa COVID. At yung, yung bagong kasal na doktor, yung wife niya nagkaroon ng COVID noong February, a month after lang. Uh, uh, nagkaroon siya ng COVID ng March, February sila pala ikinasal. Aside doon, nagkaroon na rin tayo ng crush talk and that talks about the prep, uh, uh, preparation ng government and different institutions sa COVID during the lockdown. Kaya in-interview natin kasama dyan si Mr. Bang Librehan ng MMDA. Nagkaroon pa siya ng part 2 dahil afterwards the President decided to put Manila, Metro Manila GCQ. So handa ka na ba? And then the most talk, talk about topic sa segment natin recently yung discussions about anti-terrorism bill. We talked to uh, Attorney Marlon uh, representing the government, si Congressman Mujib Hataman, at si Dean Chel Jokno at si Attorney Poch Lapog. Ano yung goal ni Pinas Forward? Bakit tayo may bayan, ba, bahay ani? Bakit tayo may mga ganitong social media platform? Bakit natin sinasabi yung digital bayanihan? I want to close my sharing this afternoon and please feel free to ask questions. Sa kabila ng lahat ng mga naging karanasan natin, we want to pro we want to have a platform wherein safe pa rin tayong makakapag makakapag diskusyon na hindi natin kailangang mag-away, na hindi natin kailangang uh, magalit sa isa't isa. Uh, we think na ito yung isang magandang way para mag-move talaga natin yung Pinas Forward. Let's sit down Let's talk about it. Dahil at the end of the day, tayo ring mga Pilipino ang tutulong sa Pilipinas. And that is the only way for us to move Pinas forward. Maraming salamat po sa pakikinig at uh, mabuhay po ang UNESCO Club uh, Philippines. Thank you, Sir Jun Hoson, the Head of Operations of Pinas Forward. And now, let's proceed to the presentation of UNESCO Club's projects in NCR. Let's start with Mr. Adam Su with his project swap from the International School of Manila. Hi, hello. Um, uh, is it always share a screen or how will this work? Uh, you we, we, will, we, we, will, we will show your... PowerPoint. You have submitted your PowerPoint. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Ponce? I'm also together with um, the other project Ponce. heads of the team. So they'll be, they'll be helping me present the, this presentation. Okay. You may start now. Okay. So... Um, to introduce, our project is called Project SWAP, which stands for Sustainable Waste Action Program. Next slide, please. So we're the Earth Savers executive team um, with a new flagship project for our UNESCO Club. Next slide, next slide please. So the main, the main issue that our project aims to address is that the global plastic pr production is expected to be quadruple by 2050. Um, so... Um, Therefore, our, pro our project aims to address this. Next slide, please. Okay, so what are our goals for launching uh, Project Swap? We want to foster awareness about the plastic pollution crisis, especially because the Philippines is one of the top uh, producers of plastic waste that ends up in the oceans. And we want to help get to the root of this problem by engaging the youth in upcycling methods within their communities. 
and how exactly are we going to achieve this? Next slide. The processes that we're going to use are we're going to use the training of youth ambassadors combined with the production of instructional video resources and guidebooks in order to help them, as well as fostering uh, plastic upcycling competitions to further engage these communities and help bring about new ideas and innovations in order to help reduce and upcycle um, the plastic waste that we produce. So our timeline for August to September is our training sessions of the ambassadors. So um, we'll send out applications after this presentation or um, like a poster um, where, you, where anyone can sign up who are uh, ages 15 to 24 within the Philippines. We'll be specifically uh, accepting 20 swap amb ambassadors and we'll get them to do, um, we'll, we'll train them to do interactive upcycling demos and also train them for leadership development. And this will go, this will run from our August to September. So um, originally before, especially now with um, the current pandemic and not being able to be as active within the community, we put more emphasis on creating these instructional guides and to bring them out by September. We want to create a co-creation platform developed by these swap ambassadors so that they can exchange ideas and help foster these different innovations. This is done in order to synthesize and propagate the training program to each of the cities in Metro Manila, again, led by these SWAP ambassadors so that they can continue to share these ideas and help foster these different uh, programs within their communities, even with this pandemic. Again, uh, with the competitions, we hope to run these from September to December. And the aim is to um, allow these ambassadors to come up with the most innovative ideas in order to upcycle plastic. And we'll be giving out awards for these initiatives so they can continue to engage in their community. And for us, the criteria is for these competitions is the amount of plastic that's upcycled and how much community impact and engagement they're able to make with these projects. So not only um, the effectiveness of reducing plastic, but the usefulness to the locals as well. Um, we believe that our club has the necessary experience to carry this forward. Um, we already conducted beta testing of um, Project Swap during World Oceans Day in 2019, where we were featured in a National Geographic documentary as the natural representatives for World Oceans Day. We have also partnered with Tunza by Samsung Engineering, which is an environmental network platform. Um, and we have distributed over 2,000 school supplies and plastic pollution awareness kits, specifically for World Oceans Day as well. Right. Um, we also believe that our team is well suited um, to tackle this problem. So my name is Algin O'Hara. I'm one of the project heads. I am the co-founder of an iOS app called Scape.Zone. I'm also the Philippine ambassador for Tunza and uh, National Geographic Society Young Explorer. Um, Adam Zhou is our development head. He is the founder and head of Earth Savers. He's also ranked number one UNESCO uh, youth leaders. And he's also the Southeast Asian ambassador for Tunza. Um, our PR head um, is Yo Kim Rillo. He is a consultant for JUV, an international company based in New York. Um, he is a researcher for crony capitalism and he's also a hu the human an ambassador for the human, uh, the human projects. Our design and media head will be led by, um, is led by Jason Cruz. Um, he is the Manila Architecture Society head, uh, a DOSD Youth Excellence Awardee, and he is also the Philippine Robotics Team Leader last year. Um, next slide, please. Sweet. So we have also been awarded um, this amount of money. So we've been granted 7,000 US dollars or 348,700 pesos by the National Geographic to fund um, our expenditures to conduct this initiative. And for communication and engagement, we plan to um, engage our network through the NCBUCP network, our Project SWAP uh, Instagram page, as well as our National Geographic and Tunza connections. Um, great. Um, and one last note, we will also be giving stipends 
to our ambassadors. So each ambassador will receive a stipend and they can also, um, they will also have the chance to win uh, grant funding um, through our upcycling competitions. So through that, we are enabling a co-creation platform where we get the inputs of our ambassadors and we also try and increase our collaboration with various uh, with various schools and various resources um, in the Philippines. Um, thanks. And you can contact us through our Instagram page or email any of us. Um, and just as another note, the stipends will be $150 each for all the ambassadors and they can win up to $650 um, through our grant, through our um, grants and competition awards. So in Philippine pesos, this is um, each ambassador will receive uh, around 7,500 pesos for participating in our program. And by winning the competition, they can win up to 32,500 pesos. And uh, this, is, this will be funded again by the National Geographic grant that we have received. We're currently in the process of getting ambassadors. Um, we'll, we'll be sending the application out after this webinar and we'll, we'll be looking forward to um, get any applications from any one of um, you or your uh, students in your school. And yeah, uh, yeah we'll, we'll be looking forward to that. Thank you very much, Adam Sue and the team. Your, your project swap is very promising. Indeed, uh, NCBUCP will be supporting you um, digitally. At the same time, we will be opening uh, this particular project of yours to the other UNESCO clubs since you are looking for ambassadors. Thank you so now much. Now we move on. We move on to the next uh, presentation. Uh, may I call on Ms. Brenda Robles the Philipp from the Philippine Normal University UNESCO Club for their Library in a Box project. Brenda? Okay, sir. <laughs> um, wait, yung PowerPoint po muna, sir. Please share the PowerPoint presentation. We have for information of everyone, we have chosen four UNESCO club who will be checked for this afternoon. Okay. May proceed. Okay. So, library in a box. Um, this, is, this is a joint project of Finance Forward, a national coordinating body of UNESCO clubs in the Philippines. And this is in support of UN Sustainable Development's Goal for the Quality Education for All. Next slide, please. Okay, so as you can see, uh, yung nasa picture po namin, ito po yung mga libro na donated by Pinas Forward. And uh, kinuha po namin ito pa sa Quezon City. And then, transform namin into a library in a box. So, uh, what is library in a box? Ito yung mga uh, libro na uh, ginawa namin, nilagay namin siya in a box para mas madali namin uh, magawa yung uh, project namin na turuan yung mga uh, street children. Next slide, please. So, how does the project work? Next slide, please. <laughs> Okay, so this is in support of UN Sustainable Development Goal 4, which is ensuring inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning and opportunities for all. So uh, this Library in a Box project aims to take libraries to children who cannot reach one so that children can develop their reading skills and the love of learning and reading also. Next slide, please. So... Uh, I inserted a data from Philippine Institute for Development Studies. Uh, as you can see, um, we aim here to give equal access to quality pre-primary education. So yung library in a box project natin, ang goal nito ay uh, maturuan yung mga early childhood but before sila mag-start uh, mag na pumasok sa school. And even yung mga wala rin kapasidad para makapag-aral. So, uh, ang mga tinuturo natin dito is yung um, values and proper grooming and kung ano pa yung mga basics na pwede natin ito no kasi. Next slide, please. 
So, nagtanda kami uh, ng project namin sa uh, Liwasang Bonifacio, Manila City, which is malapit lang din sa school namin, Philippine Normal University, Manila. Next slide, please. Ayan. So, makikita nyo, yan, dala-dala namin yung mga libro and together with our org mates. Next slide, please. Ayan. So, ayan. Yung, ayan yung mismo library in a box namin on the left picture. Uh, ang aim nito kung bakit ginawa namin siya na nasa box lang kasi di ba uh, maraming ma merong uh, kariton classroom project before pero kasi hindi naman siya kasing feasible katulad namin as students na mag makapagdala pa kami ng kariton para pumunta dun sa mga lugar na malalapit na pwede namin maturuan yung mga bata. So, um, as an education school, Philippine Normal University, uh, ang aim natin dito is also to practice then yung skills and also yung uh, pakikihalubilo din natin dun sa mga bata. And the fact na hindi lahat ay kayang pumasok sa eskwelahan, uh, nandito yung project na to at least para makahelp kung paano maturuan yung mga bata ng mga basic learning and interest nila before sila pumasok sa primary school nila. Next slide, please. Okay, yan. So, ayan yung mga sample ng mga tinuruan naming bata. And um, ginagawa namin ito during our free time, uh, weekends, and also kapag uh, may mga extra time. Hindi naman siya sobrang bigat kasi um, magkakamap lang kami dun sa um, time na possible allotted na available lang lahat. And also, um, yung mga bata na pinupuntahan namin, if random lang din sila, kumbaga parang sila na yung bumabalik-balik and same time, same space, and uh, wala naman kaming nilalabas na pinag donated naman yung mga books. And minsan, uh, nag possible din na mag-aalat din kami ng money kung uh, pwede rin kaming makapagbigay ng foods din. Kasi syempre, hindi naman makakapag-start na matututo yung bata kung wala rin namang laman yung chanila. Next slide, please. Ayan. So, ang isa pa sa kagandahan dito, hindi lang ito yung mga simpleng books na puro words lang. Interactive siya, colorful books. Such as may kita nyo dun sa right picture, hindi itong mga pop-ups, kung saan sobrang magiging interesado yung uh, mga bata. Kasi ba diba, ang gusto ng mga bata is very colorful and light lang. And um, nandito yung uh, manpower ng organization to help yung youth natin, yung mga street children. Next slide, please. Ayan. So, before I end my presentation, uh, iiwan ako sa inyo yung uh, quotation mula kay Malala Yusafay. So, let us remember, one book, one pen, one child, and one teacher can change the world. So, as youth, um, possible na parang maliit lang siyang bagay kung iisipin mo. Pero malaki yung magiging dulot nito para doon sa uh, mga bata na matuturuan natin. Kasi, uh, we're we're devoting our time and also our skills para at least matulungan sila para maka, um, maka, maka matuto dun sa mga bagay na hindi wala silang kapasidad para magawa. And also yun nga, uh, pinapromote din natin dito is maating natin yung SDG goal for which is uh, quality education for all. Next slide please. So thank you. This is the this is a project of the UNESCO Club, and I hope ma adapt nyo rin siya sa inyo when uh, the pandemic is over. And as of now, we are trying to come up with ideas, kasi nga hindi naman siya maging feasible since wala naman tayong face to face. And thank you po. Thank you very much. From plastic reduction to literally, we will move on to another project of our UNESCO club at the University of Santo Tomas. Uh, go, go, goals project. Please uh, come in, Mr. Junbert Cabot. Okay, so, um, USEC Ernesto Abella, officials of UNACOM, officers of NCBUCT, Sir Serafin, staff of Pinas Forward, and to my fellow UNESCO members and officers from NCR and Luzon, magandang hapon po. Um, I am Bert, again, from UNESCO Club, and I'm going to present our project, Go Go Goals. Let's just wait for the PowerPoint. 
Please uh, share the PowerPoint. Uh, yung mga hindi po nakapag-send ng PowerPoint, uh, pwede po kayo mag-share screen na enable na po on your end. Okay. June Burke, nakapag-share siya. Ay, Mark. Okay, so um, this is uh, our, our activity, an online series entitled Go, Go, Girls, Getting You Prepared for 2030. So this activity is in partnership with the Tiger Media Network and USD, um, USD um, Communications Bureau, and it aims to disseminate valuable information through the virtual sphere today. Um, our initial plan actually was to um, gather partners and speakers from different organizations to talk about seven, this is the 17 Sustainable Development Goals and the videos or the episodes would be published to um, the televisions around the campus. But now, since we are under quarantine, um, we decided to remodify our project and decided to um, also show it to a wider audience through our social media accounts and our YouTube channel. Um, this also um, aims to inform, educate, and to inspire everyone as it brings brilliant minds together to share insightful and innovative tips from their respective fields and advocacies. So the Go Go Goals project is divided into three um, series, and each series has um, different episodes. So let me give you an example. In one of our episodes, um, one of the tasks we asked our speaker is, um, to share a sana all statement. So like, sana all may clean access to, I mean, may access to clean water. So um, it's a opening statement from an organization and then they, they, they can, they can um, share the organization, they can also um, share their project and the different actions that they're taking in their organizations. So we shot our Go Go Goals um, online series and the episodes last February, but unfortunately we weren't able to finish um, the editing and the publish. Um, we weren't able to publish it because of the um, quarantine um, and the lockdown period. Um, it also aims to build a dynamic community and supporting causes for fundamental needs and keep up with the inspiring stories and social innovation scene. And we also envision a platform where anyone with love for social impact can collaborate together to co-build content and create an impact. Our current partners are UP Sari Buhay. We have also Earth um, USD. We have College of Commerce, Business Administration, Student Council, USD Biology Society, Streets to School, Make Sense, and USD Psychology Society. So we are glad that um, most of our volunteers and most of our speakers are also from the youth sector because we believe that um, as since majority I, I ng na audience tamen a youth youth and especially the Tomasian community, um maganda if youth the new speakers and they could also share what their actions and what their projects are so that they could also um you know, share it to, to to their fellow youth and we also wanted it to share it to our social media accounts especially this quarantine because we also wanted to um, share to other people, especially the youth, na may magagawa tayo, is kahit, kahit nasa quarantine or kahit lockdown ngayon. So, ayun. once again, this is the USD UNESCO Club's Go Go Goals, getting you prepared for 2030. Hope you um, uh, follow our Facebook accounts or YouTube channel so that you'll um, be updated with our episodes. So, once again, thank you and maraming salamat. Thank you very much. This is a very youthful and exciting project of our UST UNESCO Club. We move on to uh, De La Salle Arneta University UNESCO Club. We call on Ms. Alice Pedrasio, the advisor. She will be talking about Yes Philippines project in the midst of pandemic. Take it away, Ma'am Alice. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, Please share the video.
Mark, may may video, merong ano, merong PowerPoint na pinadala si Ma'am Alice. Ah, uh, wala po sa akin, sir, pero naka-enable po yung share screen. Uh, konti lang po kasi na receive ko, sir. Teka lang po. I-share mo na lang, Ma'am Alice, just sa laptop po. Sandali lang po ah. This is our last presentation and after that, we will have a open forum for all of the clubs. Um, thank you na po. Pinahanap ko lang sandali. Okay. I'm sure most, I'm sure some of the clubs in our, in our NCR and Luzon have similar projects. We will have your presentation next week. And uh, next, next week because for Luzon, we will have a uh, uh, we will have your own webinar where you can share clubs activities you may start now ma'am alice Apo, sir. good day ladies and gentlemen it is an honor for us in yes philippines to share with you how in our simple and little ways we have responded amidst the pandemic times and how courageously we've turned adversities to opportunities to be able to continue the UNESCO's advocacies and goals. By the way, I would like also to greet our members from YES Philippines. They're here now listening to me. Some are from La Salle College Antipolo and DepEd, um, DepEd School from Marilao, Ms. Malu and Ms. Gina. Uh, first, at the height of the ECQ, where many were caught on the streets homeless and no space to stay with, one of the DLSP projects called Shelter for the Homeless was launched. And on May 12 and 31st, we enjoined in this endeavor as volunteers to at least share our blessings with those who are in the shelter. Thus, we visited them and reach out onto them. In the slides, in the slides, we presented the outreach programs we did at least by being donor twice in the month of May. We were also given the chance to meet and greet the, the recipients of this program and it is indeed a good feeling to be a part of these milestones. So I'd like to share with you some of these uh, pictures that we've undergone with. And we were also given the chance to meet our visitors or our recipients of the program. And we met them during their morning routines. Also, we partnered with one of our local government units, the Barangay 112 in Caloocan with Kagawa Justin Sola, by doing a little gestures of donating washable masks. And at the same time, we, we helped them distributing multivitamins to some Caloocan constituents courtesy of Kagawa Justin Sola. There it is. Also, one of the best things that we also indulge with during this pandemic time is the urban gardening. In the slides, you'll see the Ace Container Garden is an alternative urban gardening that grows a lot of seedlings from fruit-bearing trees to vegetables and herb plants using empty recycled containers. It is also growing plants through hydroponic process. Some seedlings have already been donated at De La Salle Araneta University, like dates and guyabano trees, and some are given to friends who are requesting for. It is our little ways of taking care of the environment amidst this pandemic time. And it was in the, in the advice of our chairman in the NCBUCP, we enjoined it as an entry to Pinas Forward Bahayani program. 
I'd like to show you some of our plants that we've grown through our backyard so we don't have enough space. The roof is a good space for urban gardening with plenty of sunrise on it. The space is not a problem using the container, the empty containers that were donated by some of our friends. This is a sample of a one month old eggplant that has been grown on top of the roof. And some variety of fruit seedlings we've grown in recycled containers such as lemon, guayabano, chico, mango, and even date seedlings. And these are the examples of the hydroponics plants that we experimented with. Some are vegetables. We had uh, the pepper, and some ornamental plants in water. We also have homegrown vegetables and recycled containers, such as Chinese kangkong and talbos, and we've already had harvested for quite some times, for four times at least. We've also joined the campaign for Pamana Heritage Month initiated by uh, another UNESCO clubs. And also we enjoyed the UNESCO club World Heritage site. Thank you, Miss Mitch, for this wonderful picture that you've shared with us. Also, the US Philippines help promote the value of cultural diversity and promote the value of environmental awareness. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much, Ma'am Alice. And now it's, and now we would we would we would like to welcome uh, some questions from our UNESCO club here in, in in NCR and also from Luzon. If you have questions, or maybe our Natcom can can react to those presentation, or also, or maybe Yusek Abelia would like to say something about the presentation of our UNESCO clubs in NCR. Kanina may nagtataas ng kamay. Sino ba yon? Gusto magtanong? Si Jerome, sir. Jerome, would you like to say something? June, kung meron kang reaction dun sa ating mga sa presentation ng ating mga UNESCO clubs in NCR. Ah, uh, yun sir, uh, ako ba sir? Marami sa pan June eh. <laughs> June also. Ah, uh, maraming salamat. Nakakatuwa na yung inspirasyon na binabanggit natin nakaka-inspire ng iba't ibang mga organizations tulad ng ginawa ng anang PNU UNESCO club sa kanilang uh, library in a box project. Actually po, ang kaya nangyari yon yung yung bukod po sa ginagawa namin na pinas forward, uh, meron pa po kaming ibang ano uh, trabaho talaga. So this is just uh, advocacy talaga na gusto namin i-push ang um, pag paggagawa ng mga community empowerment activities. And one of the projects na ginawa po ng company namin uh, ng Message Movement Media Incorporated. Kami po yung nag-facilitate kung bakit nakapasok sa Pilipinas si Big Bad Wolf. May mga pamilya po ba dito kay Big Bad Wolf? Narinig niyo po ba yun yung biggest book sale na nangyari yes. sa Manila, sa Cebu, sa Davao? Yun po. Uh, part po nung fee na hiningi na lang namin sa kanila ay bigyan kami ng mga magagandang books. Mga bagong books para po ma i-distribute din namin ito sa mga future partners ni Pinas Forward. And fortunately, it was also during the time na nag-sign na ng partnership si Philippine Normal University at si UNESCO Club Philippines. Kaya po, na i-turn over na namin sa kanila yung mga books. Uh, on our end po, natutuwa kami na tuloy-tuloy ito. Doon po sa mga iba't-ibang mga schools na gustong makipartner din 
uh, nahiwalay dun sa UNESCO kasi ang instruction before lahat ng mga schools na meron tayong UNESCO may set, meron tayong hiwalay na partnership uh, para may pagpatuloy ng UNESCO itong mga projects na ganito tulad ng library in a box uh, para mapakinabangan ng mga bata yung kanilang uh, talent sa pagtuturo at makapagpagamit sila ng mga bagong books. Ngayon, Sir Sarafin, dahil naka-quarantine pa tayo, walang face-to-face, -face, kami po sa Pinas Forward National ay gumagawa ngayon ng iba't ibang mga modules. Uh, ako po kasi gumasumusulat din ng mga kwentong pambata at may mga kaibigan tayo mga magagaling mag-growing or kung may mga aklat na ganito, yung mga mahugusay magbigay ng, ng storytelling using the books, so, pwede po natin yung gawing video at gawing project po natin sa Pinas Forward together with your club. Uh, nakakatawa din po na si Yes, yung grupo nila Ma'am Alice, nabanggit niya merong dalawang taga Marilaw ba? Na taga Bulacan dito. Ma'am, taga Bulacan din po ako. Hello sa inyo. Uh, just uh, let us know if you want us to, to have partnership with your school sa uh, ang Pinas Forward tsaka ang inyong school. Yun lang po, Sir Serafina. Sobrang tuwan-tuwa po kami at uh, uh, nagiging bahagi si Pinas Forward ng mga advocacies ng mga UNESCO clubs natin. I would like to I would like to recognize hindi natin nabati kanina yung ingat ng Asuncion. Ina ng, ano, ng Assumption University in San Fernando, Pampanga. Nandito din sila ngayon. Who would like to ask question or give some comments about the presentation? Anyone? Anyone from our... Okay, Ms. Len. Hello, good afternoon again. And uh, again, I want to congratulate uh, all those who presented because those are all very inspiring presentations and projects that you shared with us. And I am just wondering if there are also possibilities of inter-UNESCO clubs collaboration because uh, as it is possible also that some clubs may be more active or may have been able to reach more, uh, uh, more in terms of resources and all that could benefit from their projects. But maybe it would also be good to explore if these uh, clubs could also uh, collaborate with those who have yet to develop uh, their own programs and projects uh, which they think is also aligned with what they have seen so far uh, because these uh, presentations that we have uh, witnessed this afternoon are really very interesting uh, it, 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 it really encourages uh, the members of our club to be more uh, participative and to reach out to communities and I hope that this could uh, multiply within the organization. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Len. convention is an annual event so this year po sana we wanted to um, invite other UNESCO clubs to gather in USD para po um, makapag-collaborate kami and makapag-brainstorm um, ng different projects na pwede kami makipag-partner or we could also participate in and then we also wanted to conduct this activity for the um, opening po of the international uh, international plant health um we wanted to uh, uh, officially open the year with um the convention and we will also tackle different issues and also create policies for regarding the international uh, plant health now uh international year for the united nations so that's it okay thank you so, so there is an initiative to collaborate but because of the pandemic uh, yes, but this this time siguro, ano, we can uh, we can do it by uh, ano, 
we can do it by uh, online. For example, the activity of the project of UST is online, right? Yes. The project yes. of the project of uh, our internet uh, project swap. It, it, it is online, I believe, na magagawa itong Search for Ambassador. Ang medyo hindi lang pwedeng magawa na hindi online itong library in a box. Pero gagawan daw yan ng panibagong, ano, panibagong dimension or process. Okay? Any other question? Reaction? Okay, Rex? Rex, you may... Can you hear me? Sir? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, magandang nabanggit kanina yung library in the box. Kagagaling ko lang po sa isang pagpupulong kasamang education forum na inorganisa ng kagawaran ng edukasyon. At doon po sa pagpupulong na iyon, it was mentioned that there's really a need to provide community support in terms of <coughs> books and other supplementary materials. Kasi po ano ang ating pong a sistema ng edukasyon ngayon ay nagsishift doon sa blended learning. Ito, isa na po itong ating pagtugon sa, uh, dahil nga po ito sa COVID-19. Ano? So, yun pong library in a box, isa pong napakagandang uh, proyekto po ito na pwede pong ma-emulate ng other UNESCO clubs so that we can also help our respective communities in uh, supporting the Department of Education in this <coughs> as they transition to blended learning. So, kung may mga UNESCO clubs po, ano na gusto pong mag-focus doon sa literacy project, maari po nating uh, suportahan o gayahin yung library in a box para po matulungan naman natin ang ating kagawaran ng edukasyon sa pag-deliver ng edukasyon. Ito po ay pagtugon ano, sa ating, uh, ating objective that education must continue. Maraming salamat po. Yan lang. <clears throat> Thank you. Para sa kaalaman ng lahat, Rex is the UNICOM team of education committee. Uh, meron po po ba mag magtatanong? Andito po ba si Jose Cabrera? Yeah. Kung wala nang magtatanong, medyo mag-4 o'clock na. I will I will give the floor now to Sir Ricky Aguilar for for the next part of the program. Thank you, sir. Now, let's hear a short message from the Deputy Executive Director of the UNICOM. Please welcome Ma'am Lindsay A. Barrientos, ENT. Hi, again. Good afternoon. Uh, before I say something, uh, Mark will help me with a short video presentation. Mark? Thank you, Mark. So, uh, as na kanina po, uh, habang nakikinig ako sa ating mga uh, kumustahan portion at pagbabalita ng ginagawa ng bawat UNESCO clubs, uh, malinang po sa atin na sa kabila ng pandemya, hindi po tayo tumitigil sa pagkilos, sa pagtulong, at sa pag-iisip ng mga pamamaraan upang mas maging uh, uh, magaan para sa ating lahat yung mga nangyayari. Dahil hindi naman po tayo nauubusan ng pwedeng gawin, hindi lamang para sa sarili, kundi lalong-lalo na po para sa komunidad na ating ginagalawan. And uh, if you will recall, uh, in the last webinar, na-emphasize din po ng ating chair ni Serafine na tayo po ay nag, 
uh, e-emphasize or nag-highlight ng mga magagandang ginagawa natin dito sa Pilipinas. Marami po tayong mga initiative na nagpapakita kung paano yung sarili nating mga inisyatibo ay nakakatulong upang ma-inspire yung iba na mag-isip din ng sarili nilang proyekto na makatulong sa mga komunidad. But at the same time po, we also emphasize na isa sa pinopromote din po namin ito is we are also global citizens. So nandito ang opportunity for us na ma-share in a bigger platform kung ano yung mga storya natin. Ano yung mga pwede natin ibahagi sa mundo tulad po ng mga pinapakita rin ni June kanina na kung saan ang UNESCO clubs are already actively participating. Meron pa po tayong mas uh, malawak na platforma na pwede rin natin ibahagi hindi lamang sa kapwa natin Pilipino kundi sa ating mga kapwa global citizens. So I would just like to share this screen to promote this uh, what uh, UNESCO called My COVID Story, Youth of UNESCO. So through this book, I am encouraging the UNESCO clubs, even Pinas Forward, uh, at yun pong ating mga partners na bisitahin natin. Merong isang website ang UNESCO na nakadedicate for My COVID Story. You could easily look it up uh, via Google or key in en.unesco.org slash youth slash my COVID-19 story. So in that link, you will be able to share your own story. Uh, dalawang paraan po upang mag-share kayo ng inyong story. For pen lovers, you can share your story through a shared questions like, who are you? Ano ang COVID-19 sa'yo? Paano ka nagre-respond dito sa sitwasyon na to? So, maraming mga stories pwede mong i-share by clicking here. Ganito po yung makita nyo dun sa link. You could either write your story or create your own video. But to make it more fun, hindi po siya diretsong narrative. Parang ini-encourage din tayo ni UNESCO to halimbawa, inject some humor, inject some fun in it. Ano yung mga nag-emerge na memes? Ano yung mga jokes na nai-relate? which somehow nakagaan sa pakiramdam ng iba kahit na nandito tayo sa sitwasyon na napaka-challenging. So the emphasis here is that we want to hear the story of youth, young people at the forefront, ika nga po ng UNESCO. Dahil sabi po nila, young people are day in, day out proving to be key actors when it comes to finding solutions to global problems. It could be fighting against discrimination, promoting or advocating sa climate change, gender equality, and many other issues. But as what UNESCO said, today, at a time of an unprecedented health crisis, you are once again also frontliners. At bilang frontliner po, ito ang another channel po para ating maibahagi kung ano ang ating mga ginagawa. Dahil sabi nga po nila, at kanina sinabi ko rin dun sa chat box, sharing is caring. And because sharing is caring, ito po yung paraan namin para ma-involve po tayo sa ating global community. Yung mga i-share na story ay pwede rin ma-contribute in another project that is also related which they call Youth as Researchers COVID-19 Project. So I am highly encouraging all of you to participate kasi po ang daming magagandang istorya galing sa Pilipinas, ang dami nating pwedeng ibahagi at yun pong mga importanting facts or knowledge that we can share could be part and consolidated into this research that will be used not just with by UNESCO, pero lahat po ng partners na ito at madidistribute siya sa member state countries. So we hope that you will be able to share your story. And uh, I will just share din naman po, uh, because kanina sa mga projects ninyo, meron din kayong mga pinakita na how you are contributing to our sustainable development goals. So please allow me to share uh, first, uh, other than the My Story uh, promotion po ng UNESCO, these are how we are responding to pandemic. Uh, may separate link uh, ang UNESCO, uh, COVID-19 link, but uh, there is great emphasis on the fact that learning never stops. And uh, this is a statement made by the Global Education Coalition to emphasize that UNESCO is supporting countries. Kung ano man pong pinagdadaanan natin, karamay po natin ang UNESCO. How are they helping us or how are they, are they supporting us? Ito pong Global Education Coalition includes not just uh, government 
agencies and uh, partners of UNESCO, but even from the private sector, meron na rin pong sumali upang mag-provide ng mga resources that could be useful for those who are uh, gravely affected by the pandemic. And then they also provide technical assistance for distant learning solutions. There are a lot of webinars po. Uh, meron akong shinare po na file kay Serafine, nandun yung mga link dun sa mga websites po na pwede nating mag-join sa mga upcoming webinars na iba-iba po yung topic dun sa limang sectors that we handle. Meron sa education, meron sa culture, meron sa science, and meron sa social and human sciences. So again, we encourage you po to participate or join the webinars. Uh, UNESCO also issue notes on COVID-19 related topics, especially po sa mga educators natin. Pwede nyo rin po itong i-relay, especially po sa mga students nyo or co-faculty or sa inyong mga learning institutions. And of course, the important one that is uh, also a very uh, tampok na topic po ngayon pagdating sa how we will ensure that learning never stops. Ang tanong, how will we use digital platforms? So, meron po ang UNESCO na mga digital learning resources uh, at hindi rin po nito uh, ino-overlook kung ano man po yung national learning platforms that we have. Like for example, both DepEd and Commission on Higher Education have their uh, respective uh, learning platforms that are available online. But it's not just that. Meron din po mga pamamaraan kung paano marireach out yung mga hindi nakaka-reach ng internet. So, yun nga lang po, ang challenge is sino ang mamamahagi nito, paano ito yung makakarating dun sa mga walang internet. So, there are surveys para po mas malaman in terms of support na kailangan, saan po mas kailangang suporta, alin po yung pwedeng magtumulong para madagdagan pa ang suporta ng UNESCO into a member state or into an organization or institution. So, the goal is, post-COVID-19, sabi nga po nila, hindi natin iniintay yung tapos na yung pandemya. We try to recover, we try to build back better while we are facing this challenge, this global challenge. So, ang importante po dito is for the immediate crisis response and the prevention of future crisis, ay makita ng lahat na ito po ay nagmumula rin dun sa ating pag-appreciate nung tinatawag nating honing our individual social-emotional skills. Kasi sabi nga po nung mga nakausap namin from our Board of Trustees sa UNESCO Clubs na lagi nating uh, tatandaan na higit uh, dun sa mga projects na gusto nating i-promote, kailangan din nating alamin na how are we coping ba? Kasi it's a stressful time for some of us, for most of us. Uh, ano yung mga pamamaraan natin ng pag-cope or uh, paano natin may ensure na hindi tayo naging insensitive dun sa naramdaman ng mga ibang may pinagdadaanan during these difficult times. So, sa part po ng governments, ng policy makers, ng education leaders, we need to ensure that education for sustainable development continues to be built into education frameworks. So, ito po, pinapakita ko lang dito yung mga sample na makikita ninyo if you access the site of UNESCO. So, we have uh, response and resources, imagining the world to come, pati po sa art, sa culture, pwede po kayo diyang mag-contribute. Uh, At may mga reading materials po, specifically on deciphering COVID-19 disinformation. Meron pong interesting publication na available online called Life in the Times of COVID-19, a guide for parents of children with disabilities. Kasi sabi nga po natin, we are inclusive. And then, we also give emphasis to the role of women. Kaya meron po tayong women scientists share knowledge and initiatives to address COVID-19. Hindi rin po natin binibigyan ng, ng break or pahinga yung ating pangangalaga or pagprotekta sa ating mga inscribed sites all over the world. Kaya nga po meron din silang ginawang mapping kung ano ba yung sitwasyon in terms of COVID-19 outbreak especially for our World Heritage Sites. At sabi nga po kanina, na-mention ni Miss Alice na tayo ay nagtutulungan sa pag-promote ng ating World Heritage Sites. Sa Pilipinas, may anim po tayong sites and we want to add more. But times like this call for uh, us to support din po yung mga communities within our sites or uh, malapit sa mga sites because sila rin po ay kailangan din nila ng kangais uh, support ah habang kanilang ginagampanan yung direktang uh, tungkulin na pangalagaan yung ating heritage sites. And also, 
uh, I hope you were able to participate in a previously uh, presented uh, webinar on urban solutions. May mga darating pa pong similar webinar which emphasizes the role of cities as they respond to COVID-19. At tuluyan nyo lang pong bantayan ang aming Facebook page, ang aming Instagram page because we continue to promote uh, the international celebrations but at the same time, ina-anchor po natin ito sa ating temang response to COVID-19. So, ayan po yung mga upcoming. Sinend ko po kay Seraphine itong mga ito, pati yung links. So, moving forward, just want to emphasize po na we hope that you are able to align with uh, or contribute to the Philippine Development Plan as well as support SDGs. So, uh, pasadaan ko lang ng mabilis po yung mga per sector. So, sa education, for example, uh, we want to be able to uh, still promote lifelong learning for all by coordinating the initiatives po on SDG 4, advancing lifelong learning for all, lalo na po sa community level, and um, at the same time, encouraging Philippine participation po dun sa mga international events. And uh, later on po, uh, siguro sa mga susunod na activities natin with UNESCO clubs, we will be highly promoting po how we could, we could collaborate in terms of this what we call education for sustainable development na hindi naman na po bago sa ating lahat except that meron lang tayong binibigay na emphasis ngayon na for ESD, there might be a need to consider health education as a component of this ESD framework which they plan to talk about in a global conference sometime next year. Dapat po this year yun, pero hindi natuloy. But still, yun pa rin ang target natin to have this achieved uh, by 2030. For science po, so ito po yung primary, how can we use science, technology, innovation, and knowledge para po sa ating mga COVID response, but at the same time, to never stop protecting and sustainably managing our ocean. Kasi dyan po talaga nagmumula kung paano rin po natin matutulungan ng mas marami nating mga kababayan tulad na rin ang na-present kanina doon sa ating project dun sa International School on Ocean, uh, yung about the waste, that, uh, what can be done with it. So we promote scientific cooperation, we protect biodiversity, we have our inscribed biosphere reserves. Sa ngayon, tatlo pa lang po. Palawan, Puerto Galera, saka albay. Pero maybe sa tulong nyo, we could look at ano pa ba yung mga biosphere reserve sites na pwede nating mapa-inscribe sa UNESCO. So we collaborate uh, because papalapit na po yung tinatawag nating celebration ng Decade of Ocean for Sustainable Development at tinitingnan po namin ang UNESCO clubs bilang isa sa mga primary partners kung paano natin to mapopromote widely. So, and pinas forward, uh, maybe one of these uh, weeks or months, we could also discuss if you could also help us uh, vigorously promote this One Planet, One Ocean um, uh, advocacy of UNESCO. In social and human sciences, we have understanding social transformation for peaceful, inclusive, and right inclusive and rights-based societies. So we just want to give emphasis on the value of research. Lalo po sa panahon ngayon, mahalaga po siguro madokumento natin kung paano po itong nangyaring ito uh, with us uh, having to deal with uh, the pandemic while we are also dealing with a lot of challenges that are uh, hindi lang po national, lalo na local levels. So paano po makakatulong yung pagko-consolidate nito and pag put up of a valuable research that could be shared not just within amongst ourselves but it's most especially dun po sa mga partners natin na makakatulong sa atin sa pag-identify or pag-implement ng solutions. And then of course, we continue to promote a culture of peace and non-violence through intercultural dialogue. Dahil sabi nga po, diba, uh, yung culture of peace nagmumula din yan dun sa culture of love. So, yung culture of love naman po, kitang-kita naman po sa mga UNESCO clubs natin, how your volunteerism is uh, nagmamanifest po yung pagmamahal ninyo uh, para sa bayan, para sa inyong mga kababayan. In culture po, gusto lang po natin i-emphasize na may pandemya or wala, driver and enabler po ng sustainable development ang kultura. Pero para po malaman natin kung paano ito maging efektibong driver, kailangang alam po natin yung ating facts and figures. Kaya isa po sa mga pangunahing proyekto dyan na pwede tayong mag-contribute is updating what they call the Culture 2030 Indicators. We are partnering with NEDA primarily for this, but eventually po, uh, we might need also the help 
of uh, academe, of uh, school-based organizations para po mas ma-build natin yung advokasya para dito and yun pong knowledge ano rin natin, yung data bank natin po kung anong makakontribute ninyo. And then, of course, we want to safeguard the heritage, build the resilience of sustainable Filipino communities. So, sa aming website po, makikita nyo doon ang detalye ng ating bawat heritage site. I encourage you to also visit our website, unesco.gov.ph. So, support, please support advocacy to protect and conserve UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So, salamat po ulit dun sa mga nag-participate sa ating uh, heritage challenge that we had in Facebook. Uh, siguro po sa mga susunod, we hope that you can still help us promote. And of course, the diversity of cultural expressions that we want to promote. And in the, ito po yung panglimang sector, communication and information, where we promote freedom of expression and universal access to information and knowledge. So we have a Memory of the World program na tinatawag po. Pinakang recent na na-inscribe po dyan sa Asia Pacific would be our Kulyon uh, archives po. Ito po yung mga history at yung uh, pinagmulan at naging sitwasyon ng ating mga kababayan na nagkaroon ng leprosy in a certain period of time po. So lahat po nang yan, meron pong isang repository sa tinatawag nating Kulyon Island in Palawan. So yan po ay kinikilala sa buong mundo as a very important repository of memory ng ating mga kapatid na nagkaroon ng ketong or mga lepers po. So we continue to have this partnership, not just with government agencies, primarily PTOO and other government agencies that deal with media development, freedom of expression, and of course, access to information and knowledge. Dahil nga po, mahalaga rin po na tayo ay informed. So in terms of engagement, what could we achieve together? Unity in diversity, culture of resilience, sustainable actions. So again, just would like to encourage you all to advocate, collaborate, engage, and empower by responding to the SDG's call to action, by initiating or supporting advocacies on heritage, biodiversity, and ocean preservation and protection, participate and engage in UNESCO programs, and be a member or collaborate with UNESCO clubs as well as ASPNETs and promote and celebrate international days. Kasi sabi nga po ng UNESCO, hanapin lang natin kung ano ang sabi ng UNESCO. Ano ba ang aking slide? Uh, just to emphasize po, UNESCO recognizes that youth have the creativity, the potential, and the capacity to make change happen for themselves, for their communities, and for the rest of the world. Uh, hanggang dito lang po muna ulit at maraming salamat. Thank you very much, Ms. Len. Before I will turn over the microphone to our Master of Ceremony, may I request everyone to please turn on your, your video for a photo op. Pakibuksan po ang inyong mga video para sa ating photo op. Are you ready? <laughs> Please open your video. Smile. Jaji, Jeffrey De Leon, please open your video. Jai, please open. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Another one, please smile. One, two, three. Okay, next slide. Tatlong slide po kasi. Next slide, please open your video. Okay, ready? Are you all ready? Please smile. One, two, three. Another one. One, two, three. Okay, last slide. Last slide. Please open your video. Dan Sorian. Lemuel Blanco, please open your video. Luis, Micaela, Randel Cura, please open your video. Drea Santillan, Luis, Micaela, Simon, open your video. Maria Armiento, James. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Another one. One, two, three. Okay, I, na I will now uh, turn over the microphone to our Master of Ceremony, Mr. Ricky Garcia. 
Thank you, sir. And thank you so much for participating in our webinar for NCR. Now, we will now proceed to the closing remarks to be given to us by Dr. Norman Mirabel, the treasurer of the NCBUCP Incorporated. Hello, good afternoon. The Undersecretary <laughs> Ernesto Abella, OIC UNAC from Department of Foreign Affairs, the most industrious chairman of NCBUCP Incorporated, Dr. Serafin Arbiola Jr., the president of NCBUCP, Mr. Danilo Soriano Jr., Pinas Forward Head of Operation, Mr. Jun Hoson, Pinas Forward Field Administrator, Mr. Jerzy Gumalian, the Deputy Executive Director, Yonacom, Ms. Lenzi Barrientos, the different organizations, clubs, members of the NCBUCP, friends, Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good afternoon. As COVID-19 takes unparalleled human toll, societies are in confusion and economies are in free fall. Under the weight of the new crown pandemic, many giants are facing the crisis of failure. Five months of pandemic were in debt and tens of thousands of companies were bankrupt. So the company was seriously replaced. As per our Undersecretary Ernesto Abelia, we must be in one to fight the challenges. Never stop responding for this time. He said also that volunteerism are priceless, showing love and volunteerism, like frontliners, giving information through videos, repacking, sharing love. We recognize the key role of each and every one. As per June Hudson of Pinas Forward, they did, not, they did the digital bayanihan on how to engage with the young people in the community. Pinas Forward Transformational Leadership, Values Formation of Community Engagement, the very successful Bahay Ani, wherein they are giving seeds for food security program, healthy organic vegetables, aquaponic and container gardening. Pinono Camp that explored the life in different people, they experienced the teamwork that makes them happy and relevant to their course. They learn also how to embrace diversity and build a single team. They have also the PF Connect. They did the Digital Citizenship Forum conducted in different schools and places. Project and NCR, the Project SWAP, Sustainable Waste Action Program. Poster awareness about the plastic pollution crisis, global plastic reduction. Library in a box, the, bo the books put in a box to teach early childhood who don't go to library anymore. So they teach also values, proper grooming, practice skills, and to go with the children. Then during free time, they give and share also foods to the children. Go, go, goals, project dissemination, various information through virtual and build dynamic community. The Yes, Philippines Incorporated. Young Environmentalist and Entrepreneur Society Philippines, they shared to us the different programs they have to cater the people in the community. Ms. Lenzi Barriento said that global citizenship we should share in a bigger platform. She encouraged to share our story and this pandemic 19. And we have some good stories that can be shared. UNESCO is supporting countries. All humans, are facing the pandemic that cannot be controlled. The second half of 2020 is the challenge of corporate strength. All over the world, we have seen heartwarming acts of resilience, inventiveness, solidarity, and kindness. But we have also seen concerning signs of stigma, misinformation, and the politicization of the pandemic. This pandemic, as we build our global fragility, but the fragility extends far beyond the health system. It affects all our global institutions and multilateral efforts. The challenges of the response to the devastation of COVID-19 must be final warning. It is time for a new humility in the face of essential threats. In the recovery from COVID-19, we need visionary leadership based on unity and solidarity. We must all empower communities. Every individual must understand that they are not helpless. Others, your health is in your hands. 
returning to the old discredited frameworks and system that created this fragility is out of the question. We must build back better. Economies serve people. We must strengthen <laughs> social bonds. They must be founded on sustainability and exclusivity. They must reduce inequality in its all its form, including gender inequality. They must provide opportunities for everyone. Acting together, we can generate change that will save lives and livelihood devastated by COVID-19. I want to particularly thank each and everyone, especially the different organization, partners, all those across the country system who have worked together preparing this event to make today a success. The pandemic is human tragedy. It is also an opportunity to come together and join our efforts for global survival, peace, prosperity. Thank you and good afternoon. Thank you, Sir Norman Mirabel, the treasurer of the NCBUCP Incorporated. Again, maraming maraming salamat po for participating and joining in our webinar for the National Capital Region. Again, we invite you on our next webinar, Pinas Forward and UNESCO Club Regional Webinar Meeting that um, will be on July 10 for UNESCO Clubs Mindanao and July 16 for UNESCO Luzon Wide. To sign up for these regional webinar meetings, you can visit the, or you can click the link on our UNESCO Clubs Philippines Facebook page. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pag-join nyo sa ating webinar. Again, keep safe mga kababayan. Bye! Thank you very much! Bye. See you next week! Maraming salamat! Thank you po! Have a safe weekend! Thank you, sir! Thank you po! Thank you, sir! Thank you! Thank you, po. Thank you sir! Thank you, Paul.